Hello everyone. In the second part of the cell, we'll be discussing more about subcellular organelles. As the subcellular organelles are the most important organelles having a pivotal role in biochemical reactions. So for any cell to be surviving, okay, they need to be chemical reactions and at the end they are supposed to be produce ATP. Not only ATP, okay, at the same time they are supposed to be producing some biological important compounds which are necessary for cell survival. So different subcellular organelle having different functions, okay, and to know about their specific functions, it is mandatory for us to study about each and single subcellular organelle. So as we have discussed, we all belong to eukaryotic cell. So it is proper to discuss about eukaryotic cell and its subcellular organelles. So coming to this, what are the subcellular organelles as we have discussed earlier in our previous uh, video. So uh, once again, I am uh, mentioning. So the subcellular organelles in eukaryotic cell, which are playing major role okay, in the functioning of the cell. Nucleus, which is required for new cell synthesis, that means DNA, which is acting as a hereditary material, which is involved in production of new daughter DNA, new daughter DNA via new cell synthesis. And endoplasmic reticulum having a major role in protein synthesis, that means packing and parceling of the proteins which are synthesized inside the cell. And Golgi apparatus for some minor metabolisms like glycogen metabolism. Okay, for that you require Golgi apparatus, mitochondria, you are all aware, powerhouse of the cell, right, which involved in major metabolic pathway Krebs cycle for production of ATP, which uh, with the help of electron transport chain. And lysosomes, it is like scavenging system, like uh, in the city, how a municipality works. In the early morning, they try to collect all the garbages, which are the waste materials and dumping into the dump yard. Same way lysosomes are the molecules or the substances which collect the all the waste which is collected in the cell and they will degrade it. And peroxisomes which fight with the free radicals or oxidants which enters inside the cell. Right. So functional role as I mentioned like organelles each and every organelle have very specific functions. Their specific enzyme activity serves as marker for organelles during isolation. So as we have discussed in separation of subcellular organelles by ultracentrifugation. The type of subcellular organelle be identified by identifying particular marker belong to that subcellular organelle. Like suppose, what is the marker for cytoplasm? As glycolysis is taking place in the cytoplasm, you can say the enzymes which are related to glycolysis, identifying any one of the enzyme, you can make out that particular subcellular organelle cytoplasm. Mitochondria the enzymes related to Krebs cycle and electron transport chain by identifying those enzymes you can make out the particular subcellular organelle is mitochondria. Same way each and every subcellular organelle having particular enzyme which serves as, serves as a marker for that particular subcellular organelle. So nucleus as I mentioned it is a site of DNA and RNA synthesis. DNA useful for replication that means production of new daughter cells and RNA that means DNA directed RNA synthesis that is known as transcription which involved in production of single stranded mRNA and this mRNA carries the genetic information from DNA to protein level right if you see the structure of nucleus okay so there is a nucleoplasm nuclear envelope and nucleolus so endoplasmic reticulum attached to that and along with the ribosomes right and if you see RBC, they don't have nucleus. Okay, if you see RBC, they don't have nucleus. So, the major the subcellular organelle inside the cell that is nucleus, which is a large membrane bound compartment. Nucleus is surrounded by two membranes, nuclear envelope and with other membrane continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum. Why? Because as RNA is synthesized, Okay, and RNA involved in synthesis of proteins and these, synth uh, these synthesized proteins has to be modified or parcel or packed to be in endoplasmic reticulum. So that is the purpose why endoplasmic reticulum attached to the nucleus. And nuclear envelope contains numerous pores about 90 nanometers in diameter and nucleus contains major compartment that is nucleolus. So four main types of carbon based molecules. So as I said, 
chemistry biochemistry the chemistry or the reactions the chemical reactions which you are studying in the cell in living cell so that's why biochemistry right so all this chemistry thing which is related in living cell or of organic okay so biochemistry is of organic chemistry okay that means organic chemistry you know the chemical compounds which are make uh, by the made by the backbone of carbon right so that is deoxyribonucleic acid it is a genetic information carrying molecule in, located in the nucleus and it is in formation with the complex known as chromatin okay that organized into chromosomes during cell division so you can see here chromosomes okay this is like uh, chromatin and if you see the they are attached with the proteins called histones okay nucleoproteins histones are the example for nucleoproteins and if you separate this nucleosomes and the chromatin fiber so you can isolate the dna so endoplasmic reticulum as i mentioned earlier has a role in protein synthesis and many synthetic pathways okay it is a network of interconnecting membranes the thread forming the nuclear envelope to plasma membrane okay there are two types of endoplasmic reticulum are there smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum so what is the difference of smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum so smooth endoplasmic reticulum doesn't have any ribosomes and rough endoplasmic reticulum do carry ribosomes so that is only the observable difference right smooth endoplasmic reticulum otherwise like to say microsomes so what is the main role of this so mainly lipid synthesis so the four biomolecules you are all aware carbohydrates lipids proteins nucleic acids right for cell survival for cell making all these biomolecules are mandatory so one such biomolecule is lipid so there are mechanisms by which lipids are synthesized in our cell okay and where it will be synthesized subcellular organelle endoplasmic reticulum and hydroxylation reactions these hydroxylation reactions are very very important once protein synthesized as if any movie you take which is a duration of 2 hours but initially they have shoot for 4 to 5 hours so after that what they do they will not show you all the 4 to 5 hours movie they will do editing they remove all unnecessary scenes okay and they will make it tight screenplay gripping screenplay and make it to 2 hours same way any protein synthesized in our body which is of all uh, like a uh, useful part and non useful part so that non useful part to be removed at the same time there should be some additives like for functioning the particular protein there should be addition of hydroxyl group or addition of phosphate group and this reactions okay aided by endoplasmic reticulum and marker enzyme is glucose 6 phosphatase why glucose 6 phosphatase so glycogen if you take okay to make free glucose okay in glycogenolysis to make a free glucose this enzyme is required glucose 6 phosphatase and it is present in the endo smooth endoplasmic reticulum okay and rough endoplasmic reticulum as we have discussed earlier it is studded with ribosomes this is also useful in protein synthesis you see here smooth endoplasmic reticulum there is no ribosomes and if you see the rough endoplasmic reticulum see the green dots okay two colors are there pink and blue color this is rough endoplasmic reticulum so where green color beads are there green color beads so that beads are nothing but ribosomes but if you see in pink it is plain there is no presence of beads green color beads so absence of ribosomes so they make smooth endoplasmic reticulum